to Ogden. <laughs> Starting the hike at midnight. Yeah. So full of energy. So, Absolutely. yeah, it's a midnight. We are ready to start Agong Trail from Purapasa Ragong Selat. Uh, from 1,400 meters all the way up to 2,970. And that's our team. David Harrison and Timur. Hi Timur. First portion of the trail goes through the forest. Done. How's your feelings? Good actually. Yeah? I like this pace a lot more. Let me change my outfit. <laughs> Don't change it yet. Don't change it yet. How oh, you mean? It's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot. Okay. Timor? Okay. All good? Since we are really fast, we decided to take a break. David said midnight snack. Yeah. You want to see the midnight snack? What is it? Wow, looks big. Is it some sandwich or what? Oh, I wish. Oh, you could call it a sandwich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you just, uh, <laughs> just use your fingers to put creamy. it on. Right? <laughs> That's a big snack. Oh yeah. Let me see some like that. Cheers. <laughs> Someone's really hungry. Mm. Timur, are you hungry? Uh, kind of? Okay. All right, uh, it's exactly two hours since we are on our way. It's 600 meters left to the summit. And I decided to stop here uh, and to make some tea and, and because we have to wait around four hours for the sunrise. If we will go up there, there will be a big problem because it's windy. There's nowhere really to sit. The guys, the guys has no jacket, so better we stay here. it again we are on a summit of Mount Agong all of us the guys just sitting down there where it's not that windy and uh, so yeah today a lot of people coming up here I think that we saw some four groups group, like four people and we also four so a lot of people this time I think the times when I was here alone are over. So, David, first emotions. Uh, it's hard to say. I can't see it yet. <laughs> but Did those you? last hundred meters are crazy. Really? I don't understand how we're getting down. <laughs> what did you give him? Some bread. Some bread. They don't eat bread. Dog doesn't like bread.
yeah, today really cloudy, as you can see on the back of me. Cold, very cold. Freaking cold. to go down flew a drone but really strong wind now slowly we're going down and then we'll see how the things will go no rush anyways <music>
back in Hungary. What do you go again? That's I would go again. I would have to cool down before I go again. I'd have to have at least at least a month off from hiking Agung, but then I would do it again. You know, on the way up, it somehow felt easier than the Hungry Suite. On the way down, I realized that it's not easier. <laughs> it's not easier. I did think I did think that the way up was very like very good pace, very okay. Didn't feel fatigue at all on the way up. We went really fast up actually. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know why, but like coming down, just it all came. Oh my god! Yeah, my legs. I don't even know if I could walk out of this restaurant right now. <laughs> So that's what I'm always telling you, that uh, be careful, don't underrate that mountain. You think you've been like, for example, in some mountains like Mont, what is that, uh, Mont Kinabalu, and then you come to the Ame Agung, and no, that's not the same, it's way hard. There is a trail here, nothing. There is no trail, and only in the beginning, up to 2,400 meters. Later on, no trails at all. All right, thank you very much for watching. Follow, subscribe, like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.